Yo, what is going on, you miserable Magikarp? Today we're playing some games with Expanded Picaram. Yes, I'm playing a little bit more on Expanded. It's not the, you know, the the format that I play the most or have the most experience in right now. But um, it's a lot better with the bands that Pokemon has put out. I was a little skeptical. I was like, I just feel like it doesn't do that much. I want to see some more stuff banned. But I'm not going to lie, it's it's pretty good right now. Expanded is in a, a decent spot. There are some other stuff, of course, that I would probably like to see banned. But uh, not a bad step overall, I think. And yeah, I've been enjoying Expanded quite a bit, yeah. Uh, this is not my Picaram list. This is the Picaram list that came in first place in the Limitless Weekly last week. Um, yeah, so not my list. Full credit to the first place winner. Their name on Limitless was uh, Openjility or something like that. So not quite sure how to pronounce their name on Limitless. Um, but yeah, big shout out to them for the list, of course. Um, and there's a couple cool things in here that I want to mention. Because it is it is just Picaram, right? Main attacker is the Picaram. We got the full blitz and the tag bolt, of course. We know it. We love it. Uh, we got some uh, great Picaram cards that we haven't seen for a little while in the Electro Powers and the Thunder Mountain. You can play those in Expanded. Uh, the other main attacker in the deck is the Vika Vault with the Paralyzing Bolt. There's two Vika Vaults in here. Now, Vika Vault, super strong and Expanded because you do have those E powers to have your Paralyzing Bolt be hitting that much harder. Um, but yeah, two Vika Vault in here, so a little bit more aggressive on the Vika Vault line. I think it's the first build that I've seen with two Vika Vault, but um, Vika Vault's really good, so it kind of makes uh, kind of makes sense. It's really good in a lot of matchups too, stuff like one prizer matchups, or even just to slow down your opponent early on um, in any matchup, really. To be honest, because it's so easy to get off that turn one Vika Vault, but you know, four Max Elixir, uh, Thunder Mountain, E Switch, uh, Coco Prism. Yeah, it's really really easy to pull off. So yeah, two Vika Vault alongside the Picaramps. No Zerora is another thing to point out here no zerora but a little bit heavier on the switch cards to make up for that two floatstone to escape escape rope yeah so zerora filling up a bench space can be pretty annoying at times uh so i do kind of like this change just the heavier switch cards and uh, two guzma as well that can be used to move stuff around on our side of the field uh then we got one crobat one lele two dedene for the pokemon uh support pokemon Sudoodo in here for the Skyfield decks or like Eternatus as well. That's another one. Uh, there's a Mars Shadow in here to be able to get that fighting type against other Picarom decks or against stuff like Eternatus uh, to get some easier knockouts using uh, Mars Shadow Shadow Hunt ability to copy the attack of any of our basic Pokemon in our discard pile um, and then using that for its attack for the turn. So super strong against those fighting weak decks. A Clefairy in here with the Metronome for three. Oh, this energy. Excuse me. Um, choose one of your active Pokemon's attacks and use it as this attack. Good against stuff like Zacian, for sure. And once again, I'm not super experienced in Expanded right now, so Zacian comes to mind for sure with uh, Clefairy with the Metronome. And then an Electros in here to help deal with that Bioplume that says Basics can't attack. Electros isn't a basic, but we can put it in play from our hand if we have a, um, <clears throat> at least four Lightning Energy in play. And then we can move Lightning Energy to it as well. And then we can use Hover Over with... Uh, E power or the muscle band and one hit KO those uh, super annoying vile plumes and uh, that's basically it. nothing else really ridiculous there's like one E switch two Guzma one N uh, three Sycamore three VS Seeker three Trainer's Mail of course such a super strong versatile card in the expanded format the Trainer's Mail top four take any trainer card we find there uh, four quick to Ultra Ball twelve basic lightning we don't play speed lightning because the hitting max looks is so important to keep up um with all the other decks and expanded so we want to be able to hit our max elixirs consistently which means we need basic energy and one stealthy hood as well helps in a lot of situations if they have a wobbuffet in the active or a garb setup we can put it on like our coco and still use dance of the ancients or put on our pseudo wudu and still have it be active stuff like that it is uh super good for and i think that's the list i don't really have anything else to say about it so let's get into some games last thing check out the live stream first link in the description and um yeah let's do it all right we're getting into our first one here now i don't play a ton of expanded so my sequencing is gonna be a little bit off so don't don't judge me too hard here no i'm gonna do my best this her first hand is it's all right uh i got two to start peak for the bench we're going first which stinks you don't want to go first in expanded you want to go second uh but we can go like peak arm attach pass i guess um probably won't put down the muscle band yet um, and just kind of chill. Uh, but yeah, uh, sequencing is definitely going to be... My sequencing is going to be a little bit off, for sure. My sequencing is going to be a little bit off. Um, it was a little bit rough when I played Mad Party in the expanded tournament um, last week as well. Just because I don't play a lot of expanded. So, like, the interactions with, like, Battle Compressor... I mean, there's no Battle Compressor in here. But just, like, knowing when to play stuff before stuff. Uh, I'm not as familiar with it, not as fresh with it as I have been in the past. So, uh, going to be, yeah, a little bit off. We'll see where we're up against the Rallo Alone Executor deck here. All right, go peak. 
go attach um they might item lock us so we should be being a little bit aggressive here i think escape rope's kind of cool but probably not the best you know float e power oh i probably should not put that there actually because well we could get out the electros i guess I kind of just want a dead age change, but I also want to hold my Guzma. Um, let's see what this gets, actually. There is a Sycamore. I'm going to give the other Pico Rom here. I don't think I'm going to need that guy. And then I'm just grabbing to thin out, to be honest. Just grab this and discard it with the Research or the Sycamore next turn. But I want to keep the Guzma as well. I might want to use the Guzma. So maybe I should actually grab the Dene here. Um, bench Coco and pass. So then I could go Guzma. Oh, I guess that wouldn't really work. Maybe I should retrieve the Pseudo Wudo because then I could have gone Guzma, send Pseudo to the active with the Float Stone. There's a Silent Lab. That's annoying. We do play Thunder Mountain. Um, my Dene is trapped in my hand and I can't use Coco now. Um, maybe I should just Dene change this turn and then Coco'd. Um, they expect that to happen so we'll see what they go for here we do play that electros and we also play the um stealthy hood so that's why i was thinking i probably shouldn't have put the muscle band on my picaram uh, there's a big parasol to the rowlet um so they're going for the situi probably here um but we do have that what's it called like i mentioned and here comes the super growth what are they going to get out is it going to be the item lock bio plume is it going to be the basic scan attack bio plume um, we should have enough reasonable outs to both of those things. Um, they're going for the Decidueye here. Okay, so they're going for the Decidueye off the rip here. We could set up the Coco Prism as well to be an attacker. Um, that's an insane top deck, especially if we get a hit. We do get a hit. So we're going to go ahead and Guzma up the Oddish and just take it out. And we can actually set up our um, Tap of Coco Prism here. But I think we will do. And still get into the Electros. Stealthy Hood's prized. Okay, that's not good. But we have the Electros and two E powers. So we're, I think we're chilling. Um, that, that was an, actually an absurd top deck right there with the um, whatever we top decked. <laughs> what did we top deck there? Uh, the Max Elixir. Yeah, the Max Elixir was an absurd top deck there. That's insane. Um, now for us to KO. The, unfortunately, here, I guess we do play Escape Rope. Uh, we could get an escape rope and like force up i don't want to escape rope i don't know it's a little bit awkward still because i i have this muscle band here which means i can't float stone it i'm kind of stuck in the active with this pikaram i don't want to like hard retreat it because then i lose three energy to the discard pile so that's a little bit sketch but i guess if i just get get the e-power knock this out it doesn't really matter that i would lose these three energy to be honest and there they go ahead and concede quick first up all right, we're into another one. This time, we get to go second, which is the ideal um, side you want to be on. You want to be going second. All right, we open the Vika Vault. Got some decent options in the hand. Troubles from our opponent. We can go for a turn one Paralyzing Bolt, or we can kind of chill, or go for like a turn one Full Blitz, or we can kind of chill and just like set up for a turn two Full Blitz. We're up against the Dragapult deck. I'm not going to lie. I have no idea what to do in this matchup. Um, I assume go for Peak and then kind of go from there. Um, so turn one full blitz is probably where we're gonna go for. We could go for that Vika Vault play though, like I said. We get the flow stone for the active one, so we get to a benched Vika Vault. We also just gotta be careful with items so we don't overextend our items too much, and then Trash Lynch kind of takes over the game. So we gotta be careful about that. But we still wanna pull off like a turn one attack of sun some type, I would imagine. So let's see what our top deck is, and then we'll uh go from there. Um our hand is pretty good though. So like get going. We got the flow stone to the Vika Vaults. That I change. We can computer search for literally anything we want. I don't know what it would be. I'm not sure what I want to grab off this computer search. Um, maybe just grab Thunder Mountain um, to set up for a turn one attack. Uh, I can't quick ball and computer search, unfortunately. So, yeah, that's unfortunate. I would love to do that, but I think, yeah, computer search for something like Thunder Mountain right here would be really, really good. Playing E Power. Not that the E Power will probably come into play. We could maybe get a full blitz KO on the Dragapult B. That would be pretty uh pretty lucky. We have to get pretty lucky to pull that off, I think. But so floatstone. 
E power. Computer search. Yeah, I think Thunder Mount is the best thing to grab here to like help set us up for a turn one full blitz. Um, I think it's going to do the most most for us. Okay. Kind of nothing <laughs> in the follow up. We can go get ourselves that peek around finally. We did prize our second peek, unfortunately. And this is where the items are going to start. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Start with the trainer's mail here until we'll max elixir next. I have a third E power. Uh, trainer's mail. Maybe we should have grabbed nothing there, to be honest. Oh, I don't want to put too many items in here, though. Maybe I should have just max elixir. That's for sure. Let's go for it. Grab the end for the following turn, I guess. Max elixir. Hit. All right. Cool, cool, cool. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's a lot, but we're not getting knocked out or anything. And I think we just load up for the tag bolts here, and then we're gonna draw a prize card. I assume they're gonna VMAX this Dragapult. Uh, if they don't, it's gonna be kind of free prize cards. Uh, we can just like tag bolt this turn, and then, yeah, we can just tag bolt this turn. And then next turn, kind of just win the game. So if they set up like the VMAX, Tag Bolt hit it really hard and then snipe something off the bench. We can even like throw down three E powers, Tag Bolt, and then all we need is like a paralyzing bolt to knock this thing out or something like that. Um, it'd be like super easy to knock out at that point. Um, I assume an end's gonna come down here. We don't have to like throw out the um, E powers or anything. Oh, a Chorus are, so they're gonna get, try and get a lot of cards. Wanna keep some stuff in their hand. Sure, sure. But yeah, we just go Tag Bolt. Uh, do a an absurd amount of damage to this VMAX. Um, ooh. No, but now they can't get rid of all of them. Oh, but they can just leave around the Crobat. All right. And then they actually have the end to go with it. Okay, okay. So this makes things a little bit more difficult, actually. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This makes things quite a bit more difficult, actually. Um, but now I can tag bolt this Trubbish, to be honest. What? They are two hit with the max, but maybe I've overstepped here. Oh my goodness, what happens here? This is actually super interesting now. We ha I don't have four E powers left now. If I had four E power, I could actually one hit KO this. I mean, we kind of got nothing. Attach, uh, tag bolt. I think if I had both Picaroms, it would have been best to full blitz to the second Picarom. They hit this Picarom, and then I full blitz with the other Picarom. But unfortunately for us, we only have access to this one Picarom. Um, and now we've, we've freed ourselves from Ability Lock, but our hand is still dead. Uh, we do have, like, you know, three Max Elixir. There's another end from our opponent, so that's super good for us. We've freed ourselves from the Ability Lock for now. They could find... Oh, no, the other Ability Lock garbage in the discard pile, so they would need, like, Rescue Stretcher at this point or something. So we have to try and KO this. But what, I don't even know what it's attackers. I have the option of left. I don't really have that much left to attack with. I could use like my I ditched my second Vika Vault, which I maybe should have kept around to be honest. Um, yeah, I ditched my second Vika Vault. Here comes the Trash Lance, and it is hitting super hard right now. We are in trouble. <laughs> We're in big trouble. And I'll probably just research E Power research. Uh. I have a floatstone left, I believe. I do have a floatstone left. And I think this is my only attacker. I could attack with Lele. That would only hit for 80. How many energy do I have left? It's five. I could hit this with Lele, actually. I'm gonna go for that. I'm gonna go for the hit on this with Lele. I don't know where the game goes from there, but uh, it's gotta go somewhere if we're gonna have a Coco's prize as well. That's not good. Um. Use this guy with Vika Vault, but that doesn't do enough. So we need to hit like double elixir hits and attach. We only have three energy left. So we have to get insanely lucky here. Sure, let's do it. One via seeker in there. Um do I want to end my opponent here. And and then I would have to hit Crobat into double max elixir, hit double max elixir. Sure, we already got pretty got to get pretty lucky, so I'm kind of I'm kind of down for this to be honest. Uh, we already have an absurd amount of items in here. 
trying to think if I'd ever want this. I, don't, I think I'm fully in on this Lele winning me the game. But I don't know how the Lele is going to fully win me the game. Especially with, we hit Pogo Prize as well. Yeah, all right. I think I understand this matchup a little bit better now, though. Um, yeah, I understand the matchup a little bit better now, for sure. There's Crobat. There's a Muscle Band, actually. I forgot about the Muscle Band. So we can go discard the Via Seeker. Grab, I don't know, Clefairy. Quick Ball of Clefairy. Grab the Crobat. So we need a little bit less than I had thought because we had the Muscle Banning in here as well. Max Elixir, Max Elixir, Max Elixir. Okay. Get rid of this. Grab the Marshadow. Need to hit two. Am I miscounting here? Oh, I miscounted here. I need to hit all three of these. Two? Pretty good odds, actually. Not terrible odds. Three. We get the triple hit on the Max Elixir. We're still in the game just barely energy drive ko okay so there's a trubbish on their bench that we can knock out with energy drive as well um definitely winnable we need to like topic a guzma though there's the coco there's the peak there's an energy okay so we got the, the coco and the peak yeah so i think what we want to do is like full blitz with one peak to another peak and then use the next peak to full blitz to itself and then tag ball from there i think that's like the the line we want to take or we can full blitz twice with the first peak and then full blitz and then tag ball with the next peak um yeah like full blitz full blitz tag balls up. now if they do get a trash lance we do just lose because we kind of lose i mean we could go no i think we just lose i think if we get if they get that we just lose i don't see how we ever win i could item lock with paralyzing bolt to trap the crowbat in the active so i could like send up pseudo wudo um or i can still send up vika vault see what we top deck i guess there's the trash lance the question is do they have the psychic energy i guess um yeah we can just try and item lock trap the crowbat for a while it's not a not great odds to work but um there's a chance it, it sticks um but it looks like maybe they only have this shred we're not doing enough with our lele to actually ko anything though double e power now hmm. still two guzma in our deck it's the last of my energy here. So I'm hitting for 80, 100, 120. So if I top deck a Guzma, so I should keep everything in my hand, I think. And just energy drive. So I might be able to, well, if I had attached active though, I could have done 120. Um, and then if they attached to 140, it still doesn't two shots. So I think this is fine. Uh, just hit, because they might not get another psychic energy this turn. There's a float. Ooh, and unfortunately, uh, it looks like Sycamore was their top deck. So that's not good for us at all. We can still do the play where we're trying to KO the Crobat. And who knows, they might not, they might still whiff an energy this turn. Um, but now, now it's looking quite a bit worse for us. <laughs> yeah, Max Phantom's coming in. So we need a top deck Guzma. And even if we do, if they just have an energy to retreat this, they will win the game. But yeah, top deck Guzma. Unless they don't put any damage here. Um, but they did put that one damage here. So now they can KO this. All right, so we're going to set up Vika Vault. Hopefully top deck Guzma, bring up the bat trap it with paralyzing bolt maybe they with energy and then they need with energy another turn no guzma off the top though so do we just lose i don't think just yet we can retreat and hope they don't have a guzma or a boss or anything uh actually i don't know why they didn't just put five on pseudo so they could go five on pseudo next turn i can retreat to crobats one hp left I mean, it seems fine, I guess. Hold the flow zone, I think, though. I'm gonna go ahead and pop the cocoa now. I mean, it's like likely we did we just lose here, I think. Like, yeah, they probably just have a, a gust effect. I don't want to item lock this turn. We have to try and like top deck Guzo once again, bring up the crowbat, trap it. I, th I, mean, I maybe missed something else I could have done here, but I don't think so. Um, I think it's just our, our play right there is just Top deck Guzma, bring up the Crobat, and there's the Guzma. So we do just lose here. Our opponent uh, gets the dub here with I mean, Trash Lanch or uh, Max Phantom. Whatever they want to do, goodbye to Dennis. So we end up losing. Uh, <laughs> we almost brought it back with that Lele play. That was insane. Triple Max Elixir, triple hits. Uh, we didn't have that many cards left in our deck. So the first one was like almost guaranteed, it felt like. The second one wasn't that far off. And the third one was yeah, still pretty good. Pretty good odds. Um, I got for sell though. Okay, getting into another one, uh, going second, which is where we want to be. 
I almost want to open the Dedenne. Nah, I probably don't want to open the Dedenne. I mean, I almost want to open the Dedenne, though, to be honest. Because I could open the Dedenne, the Pigram on my bench, and then... Just let's uh, play research. I wouldn't even attach, I guess, because I want to get the energy in this car proper. I kind of want to research instead of that I change here because I have so many researches or sycamores in my hand here. Um, and we have a decent amount of assets to the Dene still, so it's like not that big of a deal to find a Dene. So I think I'm going to open up a sycamore here and discard the Dene anyway. So it feels like I should have actually opened the Dene, to be honest. Um, I can do this now, though. Hold up. All right, I kind of like that. That still worked out. I had to get a, whoa, this hand is not it. Max Elixir. Hmm. We could just full blitz with this Pikaram. Get a quick ball also works here. We're an ultra ball. Could get Crobat, could just grab them. We have a ton of energy in our hand though. So I'm not like feeling like that likely that that thing's gonna hit. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a Crobat. Ooh, our Crobat's prized. And our second Dedenne's prized. Grab him, Coco. All right, please hit one time. Nice. We lose an energy here overall. But we do get the Full Blitz KO this uh, Clefairy, which is nice, so it's not around anymore. All right, full Blitz KO. Do I just like, I mean, I think I just committed to the Pika. Once again, I like don't play Expanded. I don't know matchups. I don't know how like the deck is supposed to flow. Uh, but this seems pretty good to me. Just set up for a tag ball. We'll swing next turn. Um, still have like a couple energy in our deck. So we still have energy to work with to like set up another attacker. It'd be that hard to set up something else. Um, to, like close out the game potentially. I don't think I can get one hit KO'd here by my opponent's uh, Seismitoad. See a special charge. There's a teammate, so I wonder what they're going to go for here. They only get two cards, and then they get two cards that make it so I just don't just win the game. Because um, right now, we're really close to just winning the game. Um, so they need, like, I guess to go, like, Fighting Fury Belt plus DCE. That would make them live, but they'd only quick punch for 30 for the turn. Um, there's a Mr. Mime. All right, so Tag Bolt, uh, maybe got a little bit of stuff. And then there's a Dede change. So they went Mime uh, to Dene. They play a whole bunch of characters in here they got the stunfisk v they got this clefairy um more than one teammates so yeah i'm oh is this oh this is mew cramorant that's what this deck is okay oh no can they ko this i don't think they can ko this amount. this is mew cramorant okay i had no idea what we we're up with. i assumed it was a seismic deck because they opened a toad and there's maybe like toad garb with a clefairy in there which is like interesting um yeah but it's mew cram uh, this Mr. Mime stinks. I don't like this guy. It means I can't tag bolt for for knockouts. Um, I don't think they can one shot a Pikaram though. There's the net on the toad, so he's out. Mew is in, and here comes the waking punch. Maybe. Um, I mean, currently they can they can only use beat catch, or yeah, beat, they can literally only beat catch or encounter right now with the Mew. Uh, they don't have the D-Valley in play yet. Not that they won't get there, but... Um, what are they going for? They're using... Maybe they have something else in the deck that they're going to grab here with this Ultra Ball. They could have something else to uh, go after here to, to try and set up. We'll see. Ultra Ball's happening. What are they going to get? What are they grabbing? Another Mew. Okay, once again, no, it's not a D-Valley, though. New to the bench. This card of the Toad, right? Yeah, Toad's gone. Retreat and pass, I guess, is going to be their play here. Uh, Guzmo would be really good for us, so we can take out this Mew. And then just kind of win, we can win the game with Tag Ball on the next turn. Oh, they, uh, they got rid of that. Well, we can still hard retreat if we get a Guzma. Another Lightning Energy. I don't even know how that's possible. Um, I'm going to set my Dedenne, though. And full blitz. I don't want to leave this in the deck so I can maybe full blitz to something else. Um, yeah. Then like put that on another Pokemon. Uh, but actually, this guy's not bad with this. How did I drop like an energy there? What? That's so unfortunate. I have there's really two energy left in my deck. You know what? It's whatever. Yeah. So Static Shock is actually not bad here. Um, 
And if we get a bunch of E powers, we can actually even KO Cramorant. Like double E power, Static Shock. Oh, oh, never mind. Goodbye. Uh, once again, I don't think they can one shot a Pikaram, though. Unless I'm missing something here, I don't think it's possible for them to one shot Pikaram. I could be missing something. I could definitely be missing something. Uh, Beak of Vault's really good in this matchup. And had I known the matchup, to be honest, I probably would have tried to set up Beak of Vault. Um, double, if I draw three prize cards, double is still short 30. I'm going to go for that boss play or Guzma play. Grab this, attach, grab the mime. They might be able to recover this here, but that's, we're just going to go for it anyways. And then full blitz knockout. Now the tag bolt is set up for us to draw three prize cards next turn. Uh, and then we also have the fallback of the Vika Vault. So we got some good stuff uh, going on here. Muscle Band's not bad as well to put on the Vika Vault. Up that paralyzing bolt damage. Get up to 70. Plus uh, uh, E Power actually allows us to KO the Cramorant for 100, 200 with that lightning weakness. Um, yeah. Um, but if they don't actually get this this Mr. Mime back, I'm sure they play Rescue Stretcher. So if they get the if they get a Rescue Stretcher, they can just put the Mime back on the bench. And they have two teammates in the discard pile already. So if they just get a Via Seeker, Via Seeker, Stretcher, what whatever else they might need, depending on what's in their hand as well. And then Mr. Mime to the bench, protect themselves from that Tag Vault. Um, yeah. Boom, 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 boom. There is the... Computer searched. Computer search. Let's see what they grit they get with it. That could guarantee grit get that could guarantee the teammates, or if they already have a V-Seeker in hand, they could grab the like the third card they would maybe want this turn. I don't even know what their win condition though is at this point. I think they're in a pretty bad spot overall. Uh I think I mean double is a card that is often played in here as like a closer. That could uh definitely come up as something we'd have to deal with. Um Telescopic Sight plus the Spit Shot. They can KO like the Bat this turn if they like. And put the Dene on the Bat. But currently I win with Tag Ball. So they have to worry about that first. There's their, I was going to say Target Whistle, my Dene out. And then once again, Cramorant snipe the, the Dene. And that'll be their six prize cards. But there goes the Target Whistle. Um, so maybe, I mean, maybe they play two. I don't actually know. Um, but that's plenty of energy left. Computer search, so they can get the Via Seeker, like I said. They can get Via Seeker for teammates at the very least. Any two cards. Computer search is any one card. Um, but I don't know if they can win the game before I win it. I, I mean, my, currently my hand is dead, so, I mean, if it stays dead and they, like, can KO my Pikaram somehow, I just don't know how they can KO Pikaram. I guess Counter Energy Sudowoodo would work if they play that. That would be pretty good. So here comes the Via Seeker for the teammates. Uh, yeah, Counter Energy Sudowoodo, which is sometimes played in this uh, Mew Box type deck, would would actually do it. Um, they are playing some weird energy. I've never seen the Prism Energy in here before. The basic Lightning is for Coco Prism, their own Coco Prism. Um, so that's why that's there. Uh, I've never seen the Prism Energy in here. I have seen Counter Energy in here before. Prism Energy is new to me. But uh, here comes the team. I assume they know what they're getting. They took a long search on that computer search search. So I assume they know what they're getting off this teammates. I'm sure they... I would assume. But they are still taking their time again on this teammates. Um, I assume that they were checking for what they'd want to get off the uh, off the teammates here. Uh, this guy's actually super cool in this deck. For, like, up against, like, mirror matches or whatever. Or, like, one prize matchups. You can, like, KO, like... And there's the concede. So whatever they needed off the teammates, I assume, was prize... Or they didn't work out the combo correctly in their head. And uh, another dub. That's going to do it for these games with the expanded Pikaram. It's, it's hard to showcase decks and expand it on the ladder. Because the ladder's a little bit iffy, it feels like, overall. But um, try and get as many good games as I can. We're going to be taking a look at expanded Dragapult as well. Uh, coming up soon. And maybe some more expanded decks as well. There's a couple, few, there's quite a few interesting ones out there. Um, but we'll see. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the videos. And I'll see you tomorrow. Games.